Is it hard to keep playing as hard as you guys do to build the big first half leads? In the, it's twice, in, and then in the second half, you kind of let it slip away, then have to wake up again. And yeah, we have to do a better job in the second half of not relaxing and not giving up. No matter how big a lead we have, we have to like play harder and like try to extend the lead because against bigger teams and against teams that we might play like in the Bahamas, that's if we let teams get back in the game, it's not going to be that easy for us to win. So we have to, just, if we build the big lead, we have to build on it and try to extend the lead. How much are you guys going to miss JT? Yeah, he's obviously he was one of our starters. He's a very good player. He's team captain, so of course it's going to impact the team, but we all support him. We all have his back. We want like, to get back as soon as possible, and we have a lot of good players that are going to step up and going to play well for us. Andy said before that he thinks you don't <coughs> even know how good you can be. Um, do you agree with him when he says that, or when you hear him say stuff like that, you know, what's your what's kind of your thought process? I mean, I just try to work hard, do as much as I can to help the team, both on offense and defense. Uh, coach has a lot of confidence in me, and he's giving me a lot of confidence, and he's give, like he's calling a lot of plays for me to get the ball, so and, like, I'm proud that he has that confidence in me, so I just have to work as hard as I can and do as much as I can on the court to help the team win. How good has Byron been the last couple of games? Can you just talk about how he's he's played? Yeah, Byron's been huge for us. He's, he's an amazing player. He's his scoring, he's been very, like, he's very tough to guard. Obviously, he can he can do like a little bit of everything. He can shoot. He can. He's a very good driver. So it's it's very hard for guys to guard him, and he puts a lot of pressure on other defenses, which makes it easier for other players to get open shots and get the ball. How does he get all those rebounds? He yeah, we them. talked about that because most of like most of the teams we play shoot a lot of threes, so that that means that we're gonna have long rebounds. So not only the bigs, because the bigs are mostly boxing out underneath the basket and most of the rebounds come out long. So we have to have the guards step in and get a lot of rebounds, and that's what he's been doing. seems like Julian Jacobs was kind of the, the first one of these freshmen to really start getting some burn, and he's been playing a ton of minutes. What have you seen out of him? He's a great guy. He's very athletic, as you can see, cuts out the ball <laughs> every game. And he's a great player, a great point guard. He's a great passer. He has great vision. He passes the ball very well, and he makes. he knows how to get other guys involved in the game and he's also a very good player like individually like driving and shooting so he's going to be huge for us and he's going to help us out a lot. Are you surprised he's adapted as quickly as he has? Yeah I am. It's, it's, it's very good how quickly he's adapted because as a freshman coming in it's usually hard to get used to the different style of playing college basketball but he's, he's done an excellent job of that and he's been playing very well for us. And is it fun to play next to Nicola? Yeah, Are you guys both lazy at yeah. the same time? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's good to play like next to another big guy, and especially he shoots, so he spreads out the floor a lot. So that gives me more space under the basket. And he can also post up and play inside when I'm not in the game. So yeah, it's great playing again next to him. He's a very talented guy. What's kind of brought you guys together? You know, Andy's saying that you're kind of almost his big brother. So, you know, why him? Maybe we're both international. We both play <laughs> the same position. Like. Like kind of the same position, so I help. Like I try to talk to him and help him out whenever like he's struggling with anything. Just tell him like if he's like struggling in the games, I try to help him out, pick him up. So. So you're playing. You've played some smaller teams so far, but you're gonna be playing in Villanova, possibly Kansas. What's what do you need to see from this team to beat some major opponents coming up? We just need to come together. Like play hard. And defense is the main thing that we need to work on. We can't have because we're gonna have the lead and we're gonna be down. So we just have to stick together and play hard together. That's basically it. Like we have enough talent to beat any of the teams we play, but it all, it's gonna all come down to how hard we play and how well we play together. What changes for you uh, going up against you know bigger front lines rather than facing guys that are six seven, six eight now? No, I actually like playing against bigger guys because they're my size. So I mean. It's, it's a, it's a good challenge for us, like playing against top teams over there in the Bahamas. So it's going to be a great challenge for us to see how far we've come since the beginning of the season. Okay, it was good.